Atlantic City St. Augustine Prep, they uh, get set for a uh, early uh, season clash this Saturday. You can catch all the action right here on 97.3 ESPN FM. And of course, uh, Lenny Cook uh, doing a good job with that coaching staff over at AC. Kind enough to join me for a couple moments on a Thursday. How you been, Lenny? What's going on? And of course, uh, Lenny Cook. Lenny, do me a favor, pal. Keep that keep that radio lower for a second so we can get you clear as a bell. Lower that radio so I can get you clear as a bell. Um, but I appreciate you jumping on board. And uh, this is a big test for you guys early season. Yeah, man. It's a uh, good uh, group to play against. We uh, lost to them last year in the state cat yep. in the state cow championship. And, you know, you got the, uh, you know, you look at St. Augustine, as you mentioned, the track record, and going back in, uh, I think, 2016, that was our fifth state championship since uh, 2011. So, you know, th this is kind of where the rubber meets the road, so to speak. But I look at you guys, you know, you got a bunch of seniors on the floor, but I'll tell you, you got some scores. You got some guys that can flat out ball. I mean, this kid, uh, Bethea Jr., I think he's averaging right around 34. He had the big win against Hewing um, before in that tip off back in Ocean City. So you've got some scores on your team. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Ray's a great offensive threat we have. You know what I'm saying? Um, he, uh, congratulations to him on signing to Howard. You know what I mean? So uh, he, his goal this year is to just get better, work on his game, and win state championship and go on with his basketball career. And you have, I believe, you and uh, Coach Allen, you have one, two, three, four, five, six. You have seven. Yeah, well, you're all seniors. you got a couple sophomores and one junior. So has anyone else um, uh, that we know of or don't know of has already committed uh, after this year? Yeah, we got uh, we got Flash Morgan, who, mm -hmm. uh, who signed year, yep. yesterday. He, uh, he, he signed yesterday going to the University of Maine um, for football. Um, we're working on uh, – Nazim Derry. Yep. We're working on him right now. Okay. Uh, he's like one of our best defenders on the team. It's not the best defender on the team. Um, uh, we just got a great group of guys. David Aikens, he's uh, going to St. Francis. Yeah, and you mentioned Darian Aikens actually contributed in that win against Ewing. You know, so again, you talk about the, the depth, you talk about the bench, but you talk about some of these unsung. I mean, but they, to me, this kid Ray, you know, he he is a natural scorer. I mean, he's averaging 34. I know the season's early, but that's got to be something to watch where a kid can basically take over a game. Yeah, he definitely he definitely can take over the game. He's strong, athletic. Um, he's shooting the ball at a high percentage. Um, he shot the ball uh, against Ewing. He was uh, 13, 13 for 19 from the field, um, 36 points with no threes. So he's shooting the ball at a high percentage, and he's taking high percentage shots. You know, when you look at this game on Saturday, and we mentioned that it's a litmus test, do you do you sense, since this is a, a, a veteran team with a bunch of seniors, that as the schedule gets a little harder, it's always good to get tested early on in the season, especially when you've got the tournaments and you have states right around the corner. It's a good test, and plus you have that veteran leadership. Yeah, I, I, I think it's a great uh, a great test for our guys right now, um, being that once we get into the state playoffs and stuff like that, running against guys that's up north, um, St. Augs is our best competition in the Cal. Yeah, I mean, well, listen, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, you have you know, everyone talks about the prep. You got Don Bosco. I mean, they're, they're, it's amazing. Some of their players are scoring like 35 40. I mean, it's amazing. You know, yeah, when you go up north and you start to see the game, it's almost as though the game opens up a little more. I'm not saying they're not. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Forget about half court offense. I mean, the fundamentals are there, but it's up and down the floor. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. And, and I think that's where Ray sits in best with us because he, he, he liked the running gun. Um, Dave's like the running gun. Dean is more of a slow down, get the team where they're supposed to be and run the sets. And, and Flash is just a flat-out athlete. The one thing I noticed about St. Augustine is they jump out quickly. Even the game against, I think it was uh, Millville, they scored uh, 31 in the first half. So they got guys that can knock it down uh, uh, beyond the arc as well. So I'm thinking, you know, early on, you guys want to try to get those early defensive stops as well and kind of dictate the pace. Yeah, we'll be working on that for the next two days. Yeah, without giving the game plan away. Hey, listen, um, you know, I would be remiss if I didn't ask you a little bit NBA because you and I always like to go back and forth. All right, you're watching the Sixers here, and I'm curious. Why do you think Simmons is so reluctant to shoot the basketball? Man, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what it is, man. I mean, he's, he's a flat-out scorer. Um, I, just, I just think he needs to work on his jump shot a little more. 
Yeah, but it, then if that's the case, if 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 the coach at Brown tells him go out and just shoot, don't worry yeah, about it. Got the green light. I, ex- if he got the green light, he's supposed to just go out and shoot the ball. Yeah, well, that's my point. And then they haven't played Fultz. And we were talking a little bit about this in the 12 o'clock hour. One of my guys that covers the NBA in the NFL, and he mentioned Fultz, you know, maybe it's a situation where, and we have a couple callers that just said it, maybe it's an issue where, you know, it's mental with him. I mean, if he's cleared to play, and if he's a a, a high draft pick, number one draft pick, with that talent, he needs to be on the floor. Whatever happened to just sink or swim, throw him out there. Yeah, just put him out there and let him go. Let him play his game. And and that goes back to, like, uh, with us, with our kids last year, like we had, we had Dave who who just got a little frustrated last year, and coach just gave him an opportunity to just go out and play his game, and he played well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe it is mental. I don't know. And at the end of the day, Fultz is still a young kid at 19. But you know, Simmons to me, I think I love the fact that he can break down defenses. But you know this: if he develops a shot, that's going to open up everything on the floor. Everything. Every, exactly. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think and about I, the Celtics? I just heard, I just, I just heard uh, your man who who you were just speaking to saying about LeBron coming to uh, Philly next year. <laughs> Listen, LeBron, LeBron's not. I mean, can we, <laughs> you know, can we just stop with the LeBron right away going to Philly? <laughs> can we just let the season play out first? You would agree with me though. In the Eastern Conference, it would be a disappointment, even if Embiid plays forty-five, fifty games. If this team doesn't make the playoffs in the Eastern Conference, it's a disappointment. Yeah, it definitely is with the talent that they have. It, it, listen, are, are 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 the Celtics? I mean, is this is this their year? Can they dethrone Cleveland? No, I I don't, I don't see nobody beating Cleveland in the East coming out the East. The one thing about the NBA, it's so it's such a long season. I, I really you yeah. start getting into it after the holidays for that stretch run. Um, you know, the one thing about LeBron. He, they're going to have to kind of cut down his minutes, though, because he's logging a ton of minutes. You would think, though, if they if they race out to, say, like 35 and 13 record, I think there'll be some spots where they will cut back his minutes to, to preserve a little more gas in the tank come playoff time. I mean, I, 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 think, I think this is what he wants. You know what I mean? He's playing, like, the best out of his career after 15 years, man, and he takes care of his body. So I really don't, I really don't see, him, see him sitting down much. Uh, before I let you get out of here, what, what's your thoughts on the Knicks? <laughs> oh man, it, it's sad to say, but well, don't, don't start well, to say. Don't looking say. great, man. Yeah, exactly. Dinkins That's all I wanted great. to hear. I wanted confirmation from you that the yeah. unicorn can play. Yeah, he's definitely playing great, and, and I was kind of disappointed that my man Melo went there and couldn't get that win. But listen, that's not at the end of the day. That's Phil Jackson. And we've I mean, had yeah, this discussion. It's Phil Jackson. Yeah, it's because he, yeah. he, I mean, he he did his job as a Nick, and he he was very professional with it. Yeah, I think there was a lot of pressure put on him, you know, because they were trying to look for that next, you know, the the face of that franchise, the next, you know, Patrick Hewing, and it, it's hard to do. And even Patrick is as much a beloved a player. Listen, he never won anything. They got the two finals, and the one final ninety nine. They were led by Sprewell. Patrick got hurt, so I think it, there's a yep. there was pressure put on Melo. Um, listen, Melo's a Hall of Famer. I mean, make no mistake about it. He, oh yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. And I think the Knicks should retire in jersey. Uh, they might, they might, they might do that. I'm curious to get your thoughts on this. When we've had this discussion before, everyone's talking about LeBron, and then you know he's getting a little older. Uh, how much more uh, gas in the tank he has. And for some reason, people still, come playoff time, come finals time, they want to compare him to Jordan. Please t- explain. It's not, a, you can't compare the two. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's a comparison because Michael Jordan changed the style of the game. But me, like I like I, I said the other day on Facebook, arguably he will be the greatest basketball player ever. That's just my opinion. But again, what people are going to say is he's never going to be able to catch Jordan in certain areas. And he'll never have the killer instinct that Jordan had. He, he would never have a killer instinct. Yeah. He would never have a killer instinct. But the stat speaks for itself. Only thing people can say right now is he can't catch the rings and Mike was 6-0 in the finals. And you know what hurt him too is the fact when he went to Miami and he said, you know, we'll win two, three, four, or five championships. Exactly. And it, it rubbed people the wrong way. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. Oh, I'm getting now. I'm just starting to get a little juice in the in the studio now, talking a little NBA with you. So you know, you got an open invite. We'll get you in in a couple more weeks, so you and I can go back and forth. Because you know, we have a lot. To, we have a, yeah, we have a lot to argue about. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, listen, yeah, uh, you, me on, uh, you got it anytime, man. You guys, uh, you and uh, uh, Coach Allen, the best of luck on Saturday. And, uh, you know, we look forward to a good season with you guys. And uh, we'll definitely get you back on and uh, appreciate it. And good luck against uh, St. Augustine, pal. Hey, get with you later, Rich. Thank All right. You, you got it, Lenny. Be well, pal. Lenny Cook, uh, one of the assistant coaches on uh, Coach Allen's staff there in Atlantic City. Uh, they got some players, man. This, this, this one kid, whew, I don't care what level you're on. When you're scoring 35, 36 early on in the season, this kid Bethea is a good player. 